Hey guys, this is Nick from Nexus Property Management Worcester. Just coming today to show you this new apartment that we have for rent right now. This is 144 May Street, and it's a duplex apartment split side by side with 146 May Street. This is a three bed, one bathroom, two story apartment in Worcester. And I just wanna start off by showing you what it looks like when you come in through the front. So to your left is the living room. Uh, and I'm just gonna kind of go around, uh, give you as many angles as I can of these rooms just so you get the best idea of the dimensions in the space. But I really like this room, lots of light coming in from the three large windows in the front. Um, and you can see the hardwoods going throughout. There's the radiator with the oil-based heating. So living room. Um, we're gonna check out the exterior as well as the basement at the end, but uh, quickly this is what the parking looks like out front. And then that leads into this main entrance. Stairs go upstairs and then this is the dining room. So it's actually got the option to be closed off. You've got doors on each side of it. But this is the dining room space, more large windows, um, nice light coming through. There's also a fireplace, but it's just no burning of wood in here, but you do get access to the fireplace um, without burning, right? More radiators just to keep the whole place nice and warm. And the hardwoods are still in really good condition in here as well. If you keep going, this is the pantry. Pantry, galley kitchen, uh, but it's got more build-ins for the house. So non-furniture ways of storing, right? And everything next to the kitchen is to be really useful. Uh, that's the seasonal porch out there. We'll take a look in a sec, but this is the kitchen. So it's a bit different here. It's not hardwood. So it's just like, uh, kind of like a uh, vinyl tiling, I believe. Um, and you get the full set of appliances besides the dishwasher. So it's the fridge, floor burner, gas stove, and then the washer and dryer machines are included. Um, if you go through this room with the dryer, you get to the three season porch. This is the porch out here, it just came through here. Um, it's very nice, you can sit out here. I mean, technically it's a four season porch if you decide to use it during the winter, but um, this is what it looks like as is. Backyard's back there, but we'll, obviously we'll circle back. Nice finishing on the on the walls there with the, with the tile as well. Really like that, it gives the room kind of like a nice shine. And then this is kind of the hallway of closets or the hallway of doors, uh, cause not everyone is a closet. This one is, this is the kitchen closet right here. So if you didn't fill up with a galley kitchen or you wanted the absolute essentials, they're all right there. Here is a door with the second stairs that lead up to the second floor. So they both meet on the stair landing up there. Here's a small closet. It's really just to access the utilities behind the walls. So got a hook in there but this is going to be the build-in on the other side of the dining room so if you wanted to put stuff through here main coat closet right here this is next to the thermostat as well and that's the basement um you know what? we'll check the basement out really quickly because it's actually kind of one of the main draws for this place i think um basically unlimited storage um so you got one room up here for storage, right? And obviously it's not finished or anything, but if, if you just need a lot of space, this is perfect. And then this is the second part of it. So it goes down another set of stairs to access, you know, the tanks for the house and everything. And then there's one more down here. I'd have to go and find a light. I know they keep the, uh, something like the oil down here, but you've got uh, even more storage. So if you just had boxes or anything. And we'll go back up all the way through this labyrinth of a basement. There's a little cubby under the stairs um, in case you just have stuff that like would be great to have under the stairs. But this is the staircase with the carpets that go up just makes it a little bit easier, a little bit non-slip, uh, a bit more accessible. You get the hardwoods through the rest of here, except for one bedroom and the tiling in the bathroom. And that's what that looks like when they both go down the stairs. So we'll start off with this bedroom on the right. This is the one that's front facing. 
In my opinion, this would be considered like the main bedroom. Uh, I can close this just to, but you know, easily big enough for if you had a California King and a desk and a dresser. There's also this little alcove cut into the wall here. If you like reading, this would be a great place for reading. And that's May Street right there. We're actually right across, across from the Arboretum, uh, which is basically a tree farm. Once again, the radiators are up here. Nice big closets, actually. Big closet in that room. Over here is the second bedroom. Side facing with a lot of light coming through there and there as well. Closet over here. Third bedroom is usually used more as an office just because it's a bit different than the other ones. Uh, see it here. So it's not hardwood floors. It's more of like plank wood floors, um, but they are all painted over. This room's been all painted over, so it's got a nice finishing on it. There's the closet over there for this one. But all on the same floor, all right next to each other. Um, and this is the one that's actually closest to the bathroom here, which I think is in really nice condition because it's got the ver uh, the, uh, the vanity mirror as well as the um, little guardrail on the shower to make that a little bit more accessible too. This goes actually out to the backyard. So this is the backyard space. Um, it's not tended, right? So at least there's a good amount of privacy that you get from it, but it wouldn't be necessarily for too much use. Um, but it is nice to look at and you can walk around the back and just kind of chill out there by the backyard. This right here is another closet. It's a linen closet, so it's very deep. So if you had like towels, anything like that. And I know we already saw the basement, but this is kind of like the basement part two because if somehow you couldn't fit everything in there or you just wanted your items to be in a more elevated position. This is the attic. So it's very, very large. I think it, it goes part of the length of the house. Um, obviously, we're right under the roof here, but um, it's very nice up here. This isn't finished either, but if you need more storage it's there. Hey, right now we're just gonna do one quick walkthrough of the first two floors, and then we'll check out the outside. So, bathroom, bedroom number three, bedroom number two, and bedroom one. That goes back down to the kitchen. basement over there kitchen with the laundry machines next to the three season porch and this little room separating it from the dining room would be great to host in here main foyer stairs going up and a living room All right, let's check it out outside. So these are main stairs. They go down and then down to the left towards the backyard and up again for the three season porch. And here's the driveway. So I'm parked over there. There's maybe enough room for three or four going across. Uh, so I would say three to four cars in this driveway. Front yard over there, that's the other half of the duplex unit. And this is May Street, uh, the Arboretum's over there. So field of trees. Uh, so it's not, it's kind of, uh, it's kind of secluded. Uh, not too many neighbors. You got one on the other side, but um, yeah, that's 146 on the left, 144, which is the vacant one right here on the right. And yeah, if you have any questions, you can go to www.nexuswor.com to see a full list of our vacancies and reach out. We could be 
happy to set you up with an appointment to come view it if it's still available um or if there's any other apartments by the time you see this you can check those out as well but this is 144 may street in worcester mass and this has been nick from nexus property management worcester